So we're here with Bonnie and an attendee tonight. Now, what made you want to see Lauren Southern and Stefan Molyneux tonight? Well, I've been following them both for uh, many years, but also uh, I am South African and uh, I, w I was in South Africa around the same time that Lauren Southern was there a, a few months ago. And for me, you know, it's very personal and very hard hitting what's going on there. So, and, and, and yeah, three quarters of my ancestry is poor and yeah, it's just a, a heart-wrenching situation and I'm just, my heart breaks for some of my friends and family that are still over there. Yeah, you definitely uh, would have been touched by, by farmlands because it's been so hard to get the, the truth out about what's happening with South Africa because, it, because of course nobody believes that white people have been, can be persecuted but it's happening in probably the most violent way. Yes, and every time I say anything about it online, even when I was in South Africa recently, I obviously get the that it's all happening in the imagination of the far right. You know what I mean? That it's it, it's the figment of, of the imagination. Well, I'll just say it's not happening in the imagination of the far right. I can tell you firsthand, it's real. So I really appreciate someone coming from another country who is able to speak, you know what I mean? Because if you speak from South Africa, obviously you, you get targeted. So I, 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 yeah, I just totally appreciate what she's done and who she is and the work everybody put into creating farmlands and also the other work as well. And I just want to say that the, the South African black people are suffering just as much under this, under this uh, to totalitarian government. Uh, and it's definitely, obviously, the, the farm murders is what's got the most attention, but life for, well, as you mentioned there, for white South Africans or South Africans, they're, they're, the country is not going well as a whole. No, no, this, it, it's, it's quite insane. Like, on the surface, when you go there, you know, it's, it's, it's all right, but it, I mean, I just can't believe how they can't just look next door, you know, to what happened in Zimbabwe. I mean, wake up, people. Do you know what I mean? And it's, uh, you know, uh, as they say, it's, it's, it's one farmer feeds 2,000 people in South Africa. And when I was there, I was paying with the Australian dollar. And the food in the supermarkets were all, it was almost unaffordable for me, you know, paying with an Australian dollar. What's going on? Well, Bonnie, thank you for sharing your story with us and hopefully we can get a few more South Africans here in Australia. I know there's been a few uh, rallies, but they're certainly welcome here. Thank you very much for, for having me. Thanks. This has been an Unshackled Fast. Please like, comment and subscribe. While you're here, grab our free ebook at theunshackledbattlefield.net and visit theunshackled.net for all the latest news and commentary.